Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, I am gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects and Do It Bezel 2. Let's get started. So, vectors from freepick.com, I will add download link and project files. First step, let's select these modes, eyes, heads, air left, air right, and here. Right mouse, precoms, and add name here. And click OK. Then open this composition and let's click this region of interest icon and select this here. Then go to composition and select crop contour region of interest. Okay, let's close here and move to here. Press S, change scale. Again, scale. And click this icon, open this composition, select all these layers, click this icon for quality vector. Okay, select this here, go to solo and click this palm behind icon, move to anchor point, down. Click selection tool and unhide. Then select this foot one, go to solo and go to select this puppet pin tool. Let's add one puppet here, one here and one here. Click selection tool and change puppet engine legacy and go to window open doic bezel 2 and click this icon and select this puppet this puppet click add bones okay select these bones nice so we have problem let's solve it we have this problem select this foot one and go to puppet click this checkbox on transparent and again select this pin let's see okay problem is solved so let's parent these puppets select this parent here select this parent this main puppet and select these three puppets go to click auto rig ik okay let's see select this controller nice rig is done let's close controller and unsolo these objects select these three puppets and click this icon for hide layers and go to here again click this icon for hide all layers okay select this foot tool go to solo and again puppet pin let's add here here and here click selection tool again change puppet engine legacy and click add bones select this bone parent to this bone select this parent to this main bones then select these three bones and click auto rig ik nice let's again unsolo and this unsolo select these three puppets controllers click for height okay select this hand layer go to solo and go to puppet pin let's add one puppet here one here and one here click selection tool again change puppet engine legacy and click add bones select this parent again select this parent again main puppet then select these three puppet controllers click auto rig ik let's see okay nice let's again un solo select the three puppet controllers and click this icon for height so let's see select this controller okay and this and this nice 
So let's close Duik Bezel window and select this head, pair onto this body, select this body, go to solo and go to palm behind, move to anchor point down, click selection tool and unsolo and select this body tool, pair onto this body, select this body, press air, let's see, okay. So let's click this icon for show height layers and select this controller press p let's see this is our foot controller pair onto this body select this other foot controller pair onto this body select this body press p let's see okay nice and select this hand controller Pair onto this body again and click this icon for again height layers and select this body, press air, let's see, okay, press P, nice. So we can make animation now, select this controller, okay, okay, why problem, let's solve it. Select this hand layer, move to up this body, okay. So select this hand controller and let's make first pose animation, press P, make new position keyframe and move to down, go to 10 keyframe, for shortcut you can use hold shift and press page down in the keyboard and move to up this hand. Okay, and move to left and go to here, make new keyframe and go to fifth keyframes, move to down. Okay, and let's select this laptop layer, move to up to body, okay, and hand. Okay, select this four keyframes, make easy ease. Let's see. Okay. And in this time go to three keyframe. One, two, three. Move to up. Again go to three keyframe. Move to down. Let's see. Okay, select these three keyframes. Hold Alt, move to right. Okay, select these three keyframes, move to left. Nice, and go to here, make new position keyframe, and go to again 10 keyframes, move to left. So this is random animation, you can make your keyframe animations how to like it. Okay, and in this time make new position keyframe, go to here, and again move to up and go to here, move to right, okay, and make new position keyframe, go to here, move to up, and, okay, click, let's see, nice, and again go to 3 keyframe, 1, 2, 3, Move to up this hand, go to 3 keyframe again, 1, 2, 3, move to down. And select the 3 keyframes, hold Alt, move to right. Okay. So go to here, make new position keyframe again, go to 5 keyframes, move to hand like this. Okay, and in this time, move to up this keyframe. Okay, and make new position keyframe. Go to here again, move to right. Okay, this is random hand animation. 
So I think to, this is not bad for preview. Okay, let's select this laptop layer. Go to solo and go to puppet pin. Let's add one puppet here, one here and one here. Click selection tool and unhide, unsolo. Then open laptop one and open mesh one, deform. And select this one puppet. Let's open. And in this time, when when click this hand, select this chain for move to here, and go to here. Let's change, move to right and down. Again, go to here, move to left and up. Let's see. Okay, select chain frames, right mouse, easy ease. Let's say again. Okay, select these three chain frames, move to left. Okay. Let's select this chain frame and move to left and up. Nice. Let's move to down a little bit. Nice. Select these three key frames. Go to here. Again, in this time, Control V. Let's see. Okay, select this last keyframe, Ctrl C, go to here, select first keyframe, Ctrl V, for this area static keyframe animations. Okay, nice, not bad. So press N in this time for select work area and close laptop keyframes. Select this here. In this time, press R, make rotation keyframe, go to here and change rotation. Select these two keyframes, move to right and make easy ease. Okay, select these keyframes, go to graph editor and make smooth graph. And move to right for slow animation. Okay, so in this time, select this here. Hold Shift, press P, make new position keyframe. Go to here and move to down. Again, go to here. Select first keyframe, Control C, Control V for bones animation and make easy. Ease. Let's see. Okay. Select this keyframe, move to up. Okay. And in this time, make new rotation keyframe. Go to here and change rotation. Select these three keyframes, Control C, Control V, and move to here. Let's see. Nice. Okay, in this time make again rotation, go to here and change rotation 8 and select these three keyframes, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Nice. And again make rotation, go to here and change 0 and Ctrl V these three keyframes. Okay, not bad. So let's select this body. Press R, make rotation keyframe. Go to here and change rotation 3. Okay, make easy keyframe. 
and make rotation here again go to here and change minus 2 nice again in this time make rotation keyframe go to here change plus 3 Okay, let's select these keyframes, move to right. And in this time, hold shift, press P, make new position keyframe, go to here. And move to down. Let's see. Select these keyframes, move to here. Okay. And in this time, make new position keyframe, go to here. And select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Select these four keyframes, make easy. Nice, not bad. Let's select this foot controller, this foot controller. And press P. Make new position keyframe, go to here. And move to left. Okay, make easy. And in this time, make new position keyframe for this controller. Go to here and move to up. Okay. And in this time, move to up like this. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's delete this keyframe and see like this okay select these keyframes move to right and in this time select this right foot press p make new position keyframe go to here and move to left make easy ease let's see okay not bad i like it so thank you for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.